3 Doodler has been a major force in allowing consumers to produce their own creations with their 3D printing pen. Now they're looking to create a more inexpensive and kid-friendly option with the new 3 Doodler Start. The device boasts low temperature, safe to touch components and eco-friendly 3D printer materials. TechCrunch reporter Lucas Matney met with the 3 Doodlers co-founder David Cohen to learn more. So tell me about the differences between this and the 3 Doodler 2.0. So apart from being a lot smaller and more colorful, um, I mean it's been built to fit in a child's hand. Mm -hmm. um, there are no parts of it that are hot. This pen is on right now and if you touch the tip, you wouldn't even notice the difference at okay. room temperature. Um, it's wireless, so you can use it on the go for 45 minutes to an hour. You can charge it with a USB cable, micro USB, and in fact use it while it's charging, okay. which is a pretty neat feature. Um, and it's a lot cheaper. Mm. This is going to be going out on pre-order at $39.99, wow. which is okay. less than half the price of the original 3 Wow! You could make a small Eiffel Tower with two or three okay. strands of plastic. You can make a little key ring, I'd say with a strand or two. So, stop that there. See that? It's got a nice torsity to it. Mm -hmm. Just pull away, stays up straight. Cool. What's really cool about these, that's the emoji panel there, <laughs> that's the symbol one. Cool. You can doodle straight into the groove. So with the brand new material, does it kind of affect the kind of uh, drying times of it or the hardening times of it? So it hardens a little bit slower. Okay. So you have to be a bit more patient when you're drawing up in the air. Mm -hmm. That said, um, it's got great strength to it. It hardens really well, so you can still make iPhone cases and you know, robust structures with it. And the great thing about it hardening a little bit slower is you can manipulate it and mold it once you're finished. To me, 3D printing has kind of seemed like something for the makers in the garage or so. What do you think uh, comes from opening it up to the kids? A lot more creativity. Yeah. You know, you're going to put this in the hands of kids and say, hey, make something. And they're gonna do things that'll amaze us. Like we've seen it with the 2.0, and we've seen it with the first version of the 3D. People are making dresses with it, they're making iPhone cases, they're making pieces of art. And when you put the power of 3D creation in someone's hand, untethered, they create things in a way that you wouldn't expect them to. Mm -hmm. Now take a child who has more creativity and more imagination and just let them go crazy with it, and they'll yeah. do things we never expected. Hmm. Well, your original Kickstarter launched about three years ago or so. Uh, how have you kind of seen the 3D printing space change in that time that's kind of leaned you to move your product more towards this way? We, we very much started riding a wave of 3D printing, mm -hmm. and I think in a sense we've gone beyond it. Okay. Um, the 3D has become the first mass market 3D printing tool. Like last year we shipped over 300,000 pens. Wow. So there's over 400,000 3D dollars on the market in total. Okay. This year, with the 3Doodler start, with, a, with some of the other products we're going to be bringing out, you're going to see that double, maybe even triple. 